Hey dude, what's up? It's Evan from Stock Music Musician in full-on lumberjack mode. And as you may have heard, there's been a new-ish development in Reason. Reason Plus was announced today. And so today I want to talk to you about what Reason Plus is. I want to share my thoughts with Reason Plus, and I want to say what I think it means for the future of Reason. So, in a nutshell, Reason Studios has decided to move towards the subscription model. Yay. Uh, this is something I'm not happy about, uh, and a lot of you guys aren't as well. But nonetheless, as I'll talk about in a little bit, I think Reason Plus might actually not be the worst way to do it. So first one I want to talk about is what is Reason Plus? Basically, for $19 a month, you get access to the most recent version of Reason, and every... Uh, rack extension that has ever been created by propeller heads and then you also get new sound packs every week uh, which will include you know theoretically um, presets and samples by some of the best reason users out there um, on top of that when new releases come out either new rack extensions or new versions of Reason, like maybe Reason 12, uh, you just automatically upgrade to it for free. There is also going to be a new uh, interface, a new standalone application that will manage all of these rack extensions and all of the sound packs and help you download them. Are you planning on getting Reason Plus? Why or why not? Let me know in the comments below. And do you think this is a right direction for Reason Studios to be heading? I want to know. I respond to every comment. Please share your thoughts. Let's watch that intro now. So for $20 a month, or it's a little under $20 a month, that comes to $240 a year. And essentially this is Reason Suite for $240 a year, plus monthly samples or weekly patches and... Um, and new rack extensions as they come out and updates to new versions of Reason. Uh, we're going to get into the value proposition of it in a second. But before we go farther, I do want to let you know that if you're running Reason 11 right now, I do have a free Reason mixing template that you can download below and it'll really speed up your mixing. It's got all sorts of parallel channels and effects sense and everything built in so you can quickly and easily get a good mix. Download that there below. So. First, let's talk about the value proposition of Reason Plus. I think it's actually not the worst idea, um, especially for young producers that can't afford everything, to get, you know, for $20 a month, to get new bits and pieces and to have everything all there. That's not so bad. Um, I think Reason uh, Studio was like 600 bucks, so that's now been discontinued, but this is basically three years of that would pay for this. The only difference is that you Reason Studio was yours to keep, whereas this, the minute you stop paying, you lose access to everything. If you've previously purchased a re anything you previously purchased, whether it's Reason 11 and any rack extensions for Reason 11 are yours to keep forever, it's just everything that you get additional through Reason Plus. So for $20 a month, you know, you look at a site like Loop Cloud or Splice or something like that, where they sell access to a bunch of samples for like five to $10 a month. And, you know, you have that plus access to Reason and free updates. I think it, in terms of price point, it's about right. Um, and I don't think it's just like definitively a bad price. That said, what I plan on doing is, you know, when Reason 12 comes out, whenever that is, buying Reason 12, the upgrade is usually $129, buying the upgrade for $129, and buying the one or two rack extensions that I like, which probably ends up being more affordable over time. But I don't think this is totally out of line with the value that you'd be getting. Um, that said, you know, they might start doing things with pricing to make the cost to upgrade to Reason 12 too expensive and so you'd be dumb not to get the subscription that's what i'm afraid of basically they're going to herd everybody into a script subscription model by using price discrimination to make it so that it's just 
too painful to do anything other than be in the subscription. Um, what are my overall thoughts about just this move in general? Well, I don't like it as a move in general. I see why they did it, A, because it lets them soak more blood from the Reason ecosystem, A. B, it gives them consistent cash flow. So yeah, instead of relying on one sale every, you know, one release every year and a half to drive most of your income, you can have money coming in solidly every month. And I think there is something to be said for that actually making them able to more consistently produce new material because they've got a reliable cash flow, um, which I actually, I support. And more importantly, on top of that, if they're not producing, if you're not happy with it, you can cancel. Um, and so they have some incentive to produce good stuff to keep people subscribing. Nonetheless, I'm not really that happy with this. This didn't need to be released right now. Like, why now of all times? Why not when Reason 12 came out, for example, bring the option in? Um, this isn't the thing that people are clamoring for. People are clamoring for Reason 12, not for subscription for Reason 11. So why, why roll this out? It just seems like you're not giving the community anything that they've asked for and that you're ignoring it. Um, another thing is this, I just want to talk about the sales page here. I do not like this sales page. I think it's both offensive to long-time Reason users. And I think it's also sort of shows where their heart is, which is in the direction of the rack using Reason as a plugin in other DAWs, as opposed to making it a great DAW on its own. So, you know, the first thing they say is using Reason as a rack, the rack and Reason. That's the first thing they're highlighting. What is the rack? You know, they're constantly pushing the rack. Can I use the rack? It's not till you get to the bottom where they say, oh, enough about plugins. What about Reason as a studio? And they begin it with the phrase, yes, calm down. Like, I don't know. I feel like they're the ones that need to wake up and sense, you know, get a sense of the urgency that like you haven't updated your DAW in a long time. Your competitors have been moving forward. I hope you're doing stuff, but why don't you give us something that makes us not need to calm down? Why don't you, you know, show us that you've got a roadmap for a futuristic DAW or at least a modern DAW? Um, you know, you, then down here shut up and get me started i don't know i just don't feel like that really sounds right um but it is cool the sound pack thing you'll be able to you know explore lots of different reason packs um i don't know how much value each one is going to personally contain but i think there's something unique to be said about creating um sound packs that use you know combinators and built-in reason effects to create sounds, that's something that's just not on offer elsewhere, you know? And I think it's a unique value proposition that they can do that makes it interesting to me. Um, and I haven't explored that many reason packs in a long time. I've just sort of gotten generic sample packs or um, plugins. So I think this is kind of a cool idea that like, hey, we actually are going deeper into the reason sound, although it's the reason sound via the rack. And then you also have the, instruments and effects, you know, it's basically everything that Reason Studios has ever come up with. The bass instruments as well as, um, you know, friction, um, radical piano, scenic, complex one, the oomph stuff, parsec, um, layers. So it's basically Reason Suite with friction added in. Um, you know, all the modern effects, including Pulsar and the rotary speaker, and then the player and MIDI effects, and the typical utilities. So basically, this is allowing you to get Reason Suite cheaper. But if you've already bought Reason Suite, then this is kind of a slap in the face because you went all in, purchased something for a lot of money, and now it's not being supported anymore. Uh, so that's not great. I also want to let you know that if you are a Reason owner, then you can get this for only $10 a month, I believe, for the first year. So that is sort of a little gimme to get you into this. Um, will I join this? No, I, I probably won't, to be honest. 
Uh, there's nothing here that compels me, but I, I'm not outraged by the idea of the concept. I just think that like, I'd like to see some good faith efforts that they're doing other stuff and that this is not just a cynical cash grab from users. I also don't really like the way this whole marketing thing has rolled out, that it seems very anti the reason community that has been with them for you know 15 to 20 years and very much more about trying to appeal to the cool new kids in the other DAWs. Um, and it doesn't make me optimistic about what they have coming down the pathway. So those are my two thoughts. Let me know what you think. I, I know this is a lot coming at you, but I'm really interested in your thoughts on Reason Plus and whether you're planning on getting it. Also, don't forget to download that free uh, Reason Mixing template down below. Thanks. Bye.